everybody, it's Andrea Mercier, aka Anlum, and welcome to my studio. Today is my second video for the Creative Arts Collaboration March Virtual Art Crawl, and the hashtag is CAC Fantasy Art. I started a project and it didn't go well at all, so the video starting after this intro starts abruptly because I cut out all of the first part of the project. It just, it didn't work out. So I hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you on the other side. Taking out some of my, of my metallic paints from Artist Loft. So I have the red, the blue, the green, the yellow, and the purple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them up into these squeeze bottles with water because we want to make them really liquidy. So I'll do one, and then the rest will fast forward through. This is what I normally make my 3D paints in, but I don't have. Uh, this is the small. This is the small Wilton candy. You'd you'd melt the candy melts in here, and then you'd use it to decorate onto cookies. So there's a large one and a small one and when I'm done like these stay in there my 3d paints stay kind of forever but after this project these will be washed out and reused for something else so what I'm going to do is take one of the big ones and I want to fill it up. Let's see, I'm going to use the purple. I want to put in. Ooh, that's a lot. You know, that's about a half a half an inch. I think that's too much. So let me add a little bit of water to that and we'll see what kind of consistency we get. We want something that's going to pool out and level off. I'm going to say that's perfect. So I put in about a half an inch of paint and like a quarter inch of water. So like two parts paint to one part water. So let's do the rest of those. much water. Well not in the purple one but in the other ones. Too much water. Okay, we're back. So I took that canvas panel that we did the drippage on. You can still see it through the gesso a little bit. It was way too watery. So I put two coats of gesso spray on this and now we are going to try again. I've added more paint to these. I have a lot more yellow than I do the rest of the colors. So I'm going to put the yellow down first and just smooth it out to give something for the other paints to glide through. Now there's bubbles in this. I'm not going to worry about the bubbles too much right now. I'm going to wait till I finish pouring everything and any really big bubbles I'm going to use my seam ripper to pop and any small ones, well,
going to start dripping off the sides now and we're going to start moving it around. So I elevated it. I was going to name it the rug really tied the room together but I couldn't fit that onto my intro clip so it's just Lebowski's rug kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, trip from the movie where he's flying through the air and everything um, just so you know this is not dry yet it's still moving I don't know if you can see that but the paint is still moving it will probably take a couple of days to dry Anyways, this is my first time doing fluid pours and I learned a lot from fluid painting right here, this lovely channel. I encourage you to go and visit them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here so that you can follow me on my artful journey. I always like having you guys here. Have a great day. Bye.